The plume of vapor is the first emitted from the Trojan cooling tower since the plant closed for repairs October 12th. It was a shutdown to fix a leak in the steam generator and then to repair supports for steam pipes to bring them up to earthquake standards. It could have taken weeks to get approval to start the plant, but following the Saturday morning decision by the Atomic Safety and Licensing Board, one approving the basic safety of the plant, the NRC apparently wasted little time. The order to restart came at 8.30 this morning, and by 10.20 the plant was producing electricity. It may take a day and a half to a week to get the plant up to full power and producing the million 100,000 kilowatts it's capable of producing every day. As the steam generator levels require it, we start lighting off you know, the, the feed pumps and feeding the steam generators, and then we just ascend to, to uh, power with the, uh, with the main turbine. You just in, basically, you just increase your power to, the power demand to the, main, to the turbine and um, put a heavier load on it, and it, it automatically takes more steam. Without the Trojan plant back in operation, Portland General Electric was facing a 50% power shortage in its system. It is unlikely, however, the company would have had to suffer through the entire winter. Alternative plans were already being considered to have the shortage shared with other utilities in the Northwest. With Trojan back online, PGE has turned off its three gas-fired power generators, Harbiton, Bethel, and Beaver. If it continues to rain and snow, and if temperatures remain mild, the company does not expect to turn them on again this winter. But the company does face the prospect of paying back the power it has had to borrow all the time Trojan was down. It is a deficit amounting to 800 million kilowatt hours, about a month's production from Trojan. But again, if the weather remains mild, the company may end up paying cash for the power, a cheaper prospect than trading more expensive power from the Trojan plant. Tim Storch reporting from Rainier for Channel 2 News.